Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning crescent moon under the astrological sign of Aquarius. This reading is for Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node, Cancer. Holy Spirit, angel guides, spirit guides. What is the new moon message for Cancer? Cancer, thank you so much for hanging out with me here. You open up with who's in control? Yeah. <clears throat> Under the waning crescent energy, that's an energy of surrendering to divine, surrendering something. Could be told to let go, let God. And, you know, other people may, it may seem like other people, Cancer, have control, but God has the ultimate control. Surrender to the fact. Somebody has to surrender to the fact. Wow. Libra and energy, balancing the scales, Cancer. It could involve a Libra. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like somebody is being guided to balance their self and just leave the rest to spirit. I just heard that. <laughs> um, to shift some weight, pay attention to the shift. Mm. Mm -hmm. Things are shifting, yes. Something new is being birthed. Some of you could actually be having a baby. Hmm. Remaining in balance while your hormones are in rage. Whether it's from a baby or it's just from losing control. <laughs> yeah, letting go. Letting go. Oh, okay, spirit. This is going to be a deep one. I can tell. What else for cancer? Yes. Okay. One more, spirit. One more. Thank you. Uh-oh. I, I hate talking about these, but I... I have some, oof, I have to try and talk about it for you, Cancer. I have to say what is here. This is all about this baby, somebody who's pregnant, being pregnant with a new idea, a new opportunity, a new relationship. Building something on fertile ground as opposed to unstable. Somebody wants justice also. I feel that somebody wants justice because they're pregnant and they found out there's somebody else. And Divine is saying, I have control of this. Don't worry, I got you. Somebody could have gotten pregnant by somebody else and, and they found out they're out. They're they're. Creating emotional and physical distance as we speak. Either way, emotional and physical distance is being created. Spirit said, even though you think you know, there is more to the story. More information is required. You're going to find out more. Or more information is required. Don't overwork yourself. Especially in this condition. <laughs> Cancer. Somebody is pregnant though. Yeah, there was something going on behind your back. You found out about it. That's why you want justice. You want to balance the scales, even it out. Some people have a vendetta, vindictive, uh, oh, revenge. I'm feeling it all. And that's why God says, no, I have ultimate control. 
there don't focus on payback spirit urges you not to put the period there not to think of things that you should be acting an eye for an eye divine has ultimate control just surrender it to him and know that he'll take care of it okay king of pentacles Ooh. Yeah, they wish they didn't see this, didn't find out. The King of Pentacles Reverse is very, very upset when he finds out that he's been betrayed, that he's been used for his money, for anything, actually, right? Somebody could be obsessing over wealth, over money, now that they find themselves in a position of pregnancy of having a baby, male or female, they begin to obsess over some money. I mean, the King of Pentacles needs to feel a balance materially and with the spiritual world. But this news, this has put somebody off balance. Yeah, this is a king or a queen who is off balance as a result of something they were trying to accomplish. Oof, let me just stay with that for a minute because there's a lot going on here. Yeah. So, I mean, there is some kind of corruption even involved here. Something illegal could be happening, but definitely there's a concern for alimony. How am I going to take care of this child? Are they going to step up and do what they have to do? You know, right now, there's kind of a negative mindset with the sun reverse. I mean, it somebody's feeling pessimistic. It's not a time for something to come together. This is poor timing. How could I be in this situation at this time, male or female? How did I get them knocked up? How am I knocked up? Oh, my goodness. This is just poor timing. Oh, it's put a delay on something. Hmm. For others of you, this fertility is about doing something new, a new project you were working through. You were at a point of a breakthrough and somebody tries to steal your shine, cloud your joy. Um, they're not allowing you to enjoy your moments. Wow. Someone is arrogant. Someone is arrogant. Somebody's stealing something from you. Either way, it's coming to an end. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You have a breakthrough. Maybe some of you try to exert revenge or try and get them back, but it doesn't work. Why? Because God has ultimate control. There's something not truthful. There's some deception around this thing that you're trying to bring to life. Maybe has something to do with this King of Pentacles reverse. It's somebody's lying about some money or something. Uh, there is something seriously. Spirit is saying that uh, you need to pay attention to cancer surrounding money, this pregnancy, this new thing that you're trying to create yeah you're being told to pay attention someone's withholding the truth oh there is clouded judgment didn't i say that before yeah clouded judgment when it comes to money there's something about this king of so pentacles reverse and the ace of swords reverse There could be even abuse. Mm, I don't want to say all of that, but definitely lies and miscommunications. I don't know. Mm. There's somebody from the outside impacting whatever this birth is, whatever you're trying to give birth to. That's why it's coming to an ending, because right now there's obstruction of the truth. There's cloudiness. Uh, something's not clear. Something's being withheld. Mm. 
And because of your state, because of how much time you've invested in this, you don't really want to let go. Two of Wands is you're trying to figure out which way to go. You're at a crossroads. How am I going to take care of this baby by myself? What will happen if I pull out of this project now? This is not fair. Justice reverse. Again, that Libra and energy. But Spirit says he has the ultimate justice. And whatever revenge that somebody could be trying to put on you or get back at you or somehow there's a lot of negativity around you making this whole thing deceptive you have the sun reverse the king of pentacles reverse justice reverse the ace of swords is reverse no wonder you're in a state of a little confusion uncertainty Mm. I, you're being told to listen to your intuition inside is always going to give you the answer that you can't get from the outside okay yeah uh, this is definitely a time where some relationships will leave you spirit said point blank they uh the decision will be made to distance yourself emotionally and physically. Yeah, because this is very deceptive. This sun reverse, king of pentacles, justice, the ace of swords, all pointing to whatever this is. Whatever you're trying to give birth to, uh, whatever. So somebody's birth pregnancy could be hidden. Mm. Cancer, I don't leave me a comment and tell me what's going on, please. But I know, you know, this is not regardless of pregnancy or whatever. This is not somebody you're supposed to go forward with. Don't overwork yourself, overexert yourself at this time for your own emotional and physical sanity. Uh, you need to stand firm. This is the energy of providing your own umbrella, your own shelter, obtaining knowledge by always lifting your head to your angel guides, your spirit guides. Yes, but just because of the sensitivity of this fertility, leave me a comment and tell me, is it a birth or is it a project? Oh, cancer. Yeah. Well, there's definitely someone else. We know that, right? They didn't get pregnant by their self. And usually when you're working on a big project, we don't become successful by ourselves. Mm. Yeah, somebody's definitely thinking Seven of Pentacles. I've invested so much time in this. Why aren't they emotional, uh, emotionally available? Why don't they know what they want? Ooh, somebody's saying that. Others are saying, we've invested a lot. We've come a long way. Mm. Okay, spirit. So what do you recommend? What do you recommend? For cancer, however they relate to this situation. What is the situation, Moody? There's fertility. Either somebody's pregnant or there's a new project and there's deception and mistruths, miscommunication, serious issues. It's an ace. Things aren't going to work out. You've got all of these major arcanas around you telling you that. Mm -hmm. This is somebody. You have the two of cups here qualifying. Be cautious. Don't overwork yourself. You know, when it's over, two of cups reverse, it's over. Do not try and force something to work that is clearly over. This, with all these majors reverse and the ace of swords regarding whatever you were trying to build with them, have with them. Mm -mm. Elevation. What? Yes. You're being told to, this is a time for you to elevate. Focus on your elevation, freeing yourself from fear and trust Holy Spirit. 
Direct your thoughts to the beauty inside and around you. Somebody's got a baby in there. Mm -hmm. And that's why Spirit says don't overwork yourself because you have to be calm, cool, collective, or that baby's going to be a hot mess. If you allow your... <laughs> energies to be a hot mess and that baby comes out anxious and all of that so spirit saying don't overwork yourself this relationship plus you're going to find out even more information so you might as well gain control and keep control right now even if you're not pregnant it's about a project something new you were trying to start spirit says don't overwork yourself. You know, uh, more information is coming. More relationships are coming. At this point, just elevate yourself from this situation. Use your spiritual strengths and knowledge to create light and rise above all doubt. That's what you're being told to do. Yeah, God has ultimate control. He sees everything, right? Mm. And you're going to evolve from this situation just as you have evolved in the past. You're transforming. Sometimes it hurts. Mm. But you're going to improve inwardly by working on your weaknesses and refining your strengths. Life ensures the presence. And when presented with situations, they will help you learn and grow. You're making progress. Mm. Light is surely going to come in under this new moon, Cancer. Look for it because it's coming. I know it looks dark because of the situation, but you do have justice twice. You have it upright as well as reverse, but God has ultimate control and both of those are major arcanas. You have the sun reverse. Somebody's trying to keep something from you, but God is elevating you from that, especially if you are with child, because that's the, the, that child is the most important thing right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God loves the children. Hmm. Let's pray for cancer. Tell me more, spirit. Transformation is something you have to go through. Um, spirit of the wood. The woods. Yeah, let go. Which one said that? Mm -hmm. Let go of darkness, shadow energy, and elevate, transform. That's exactly what he's telling you to do. In the woods, you may feel isolated. You fear, doubt. Mm -mm. This is not a time to allow those thoughts to linger. Mm -mm. It is not. This is about you doing what's right for you. Mm -hmm. you need to be investing in thoughts that elevate you look at invest in something that makes you solid and stable think about the spirit of anchoring yourself yes into something new that elevates you pulling yourself out of the spirit of the woods energy right and elevating yourself to a higher mental state. It's going to do the world of good for you. Mm -hmm. And that's what this new moon brings in. A higher state of elevation, a transformation. Yeah, this was all about testing your strengths and weaknesses. And you know what? You passed the test. I see that, Cancer. You're very strong when you want something you are persistent yes you are you are the sign you're ruled by the fourth house very protective persistent regarding what you want mm. <laughs> okay we're gonna take these two bottom cards right yeah watch for signs you're gonna see signs leading you out of any type of negative energy, 
turning it over to divine. That's what really makes the difference. Every time that you're able to just have a quiet talk with divine and turn it over and then not think about it again, you get blessings. You get blessings. Yeah, you're going to continue to see signs, signs that are going to lead you to something better, a true love, a happier love. Until cancer sees those signs, what do we recommend that they do to care for their self? Connect with the earth, cancer. Spend some time outside. Here in the States, I know uh, we are going back into daylight savings time. And you can get out in the park and walk. And during those times, yes, that's going to elevate your vibration Put you in contact with spirit. Just you and spirit, right? Mm -hmm. That's what all you need for the transformation to change this situation around. Some of you need to, uh, you know, really make a place where you can be alone with spirit. A place in your home, right, that's private and quiet. And you can meditate and be alone because you're trying to bring in a better love. You're trying to transform from the love and the test and the injustice that you experienced in the past into something new, something that you deserve. Spirit will control the past and he also has control of your future. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing. What else? Okay. When we turn our life over to spirit, he will bring justice to any unjust situation. He will lead you to whatever it is you want. As long as you're willing to do the work, you can say mountain move and it will move. But you have to believe that it's going to move. That's the work. So become still. That's why you need that space where you can become still. Still, so you can hear what God is saying. For the life of every living thing is in his hand, and the breath of every human being. Job 12.10 Become still so you may hear God. Wow. The life of every living thing. And if you are in the state of pregnancy, that's why you have to just know God is in ultimate control. Turn it over. He's got you. Everything is in his hand. Mm -hmm. All of us. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Cancer, I hope you were able to identify with what was said. If so, like. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. Tell me, are you pregnant? Is this involved a pregnancy or just put pregnancy or project? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and look for the breakthrough because it's coming under this new moon. You, you, you have that you will see signs. I know you did. Yeah, you're going to see signs. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that's one. But I there was something else that said signs, too. As part of your elevation, it will be revealed to you that you have changed or you have been elevated from the fear, the doubt, the insecurity you may have had previously to a comfortability of faith that divine's got it if i was able to help you get there let me know like subscribe hit the notification bell and leave me a comment i know i said that before but let's pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Until the next moon phase. Namaste.